It's getting late. Where to now? Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? <sighs> Clara? <sighs> if she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> oh, you're adorable, Branya. He was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Already? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye. Nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that's something to be proud of? <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian. All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. 
Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. <sighs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. What about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss.
Thank you. 